Local productions on QTV are made possible with support from viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to Dateline Delta. I'm Mary Lou Benicke, Vice Chair of the Delta College Board of Trustees. We begin today's show looking at a recent transfer agreement involving the nursing program. We'll also check in on a speaker who recently visited the area. November is approaching, which means the sweet smell of chocolate is in the air. And we see how the Delta campus is a focal point for area high school students. To conclude the show, we'll watch the next episode of Sky Treasures and learn about our computer-aided drafting, or CAD, program. Delta College is making it easier to earn a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing with the addition of two new 3 plus 1 articulation agreements with Central Michigan University and Oakland University. To learn more about this agreement, we talked to Emily Clement, Manager of Strategic Partnerships. Transfer agreements are set up to enable the student to complete their degree here at Delta and then transfer to a university to complete a bachelor's degree program with it's seamless. We want it to be a seamless transition for the student. Currently we have over a hundred different programs in an articulation agreement. Some of the most popular or more popular agreements are with Northwood University, Ferris State University, Saginaw Valley, Davenport University, Central Michigan University. The nursing uh, discipline here at Delta College is very pleased that we signed two uh, agreements with Oakland University and Central Michigan University um, transfer agreements to bachelor's program. Upon graduation, they can obtain it within a year, their bachelor's degree, and it is uh, completely online, which is very convenient for our graduates. We also offer two concurrent programs here at Delta, one with Saginaw Valley State University and one with Davenport University. Currently, we have approximately 262 uh, nursing students in our program, and I would say uh, a majority of our graduates do go on to pursue a bachelor's or master's or doctorate degree. So one of the benefits of starting off with an associate degree here at Delta College is that students can graduate from our program, take their state board exam, and gain employment and then they can go on and further their education by obtaining a bachelor's degree. So it's really nice for our students that they're able to make money while going to school and furthering their education for their higher degree. The RN to BSN completion program provides a student that is working, the working RN, an opportunity to finish that bachelor's degree if they're perhaps looking for promotion or something at the hospital or the institution they're working for. To learn more details about this program, see the information on the screen. Now in its 20th year, the President's Speaker Series has brought many unique individuals to campus. Last month, we welcomed Emily Bazelon to the area to give us her unique perspective of the American judicial system. To hear more about her visit, we talked to Kim Klein, co-chair for the President's Speaker Series. Recently, Delta College, with the President's Speaker Series, hosted Emily Bazelon, who is a New York Times best-selling author, who wrote a book called Charged that addresses the issue of mass incarceration in our country. So California had this very harsh sentencing law. If you got convicted of a third crime, you would go to prison for life. There was a ballot initiative to change the three strikes law and make it less harsh. And I was talking to the prosecutor at the time who was elected in Los Angeles, and he was supporting reforming this law, which seemed sort of surprising. And I asked him why, and he told me a story about a man named Gregory Taylor. 
Um, and Gregory Taylor had, his case had come into this prosecutor's office when he was, when the prosecutor was just starting out years before, a prosecutor named Steve Cooley. And the case had not gone to Steve Cooley. It went to the desk of the prosecutor next to him. So Gregory Taylor's offense was that he had unscrewed the screws of a screen door on a food pantry because it was 5 a.m. and he was hungry and the food pantry was closed, but he was trying to get inside. And the prosecutor who got this case decided to charge Gregory Taylor with a third strike. And so Gregory Taylor went to prison for the rest of his life. And Steve Cooley was telling me the story. He said that if that case had come to him, he would never have charged it as a third strike. And I was so surprised by that story. I had never thought about the idea that the desk your case lands on in the DA's office could really determine the whole course of your life. So Emily's presentation dealt with mass incarceration in the, in the United States. What was really interesting about the way she presented the information is she talked a lot about our role as citizens and what we can do to get involved in solving this problem. The most important power that we have to affect our criminal justice system is our power at the ballot box. Now, we can exercise that power by electing lawmakers who change our laws um, and by trying to set policy in that manner. But we also have, in almost every state, the right to elect our own district attorney or state attorney or county attorney. And if you just take one thing away from this talk tonight, I hope what it will be is that you have the power to elect your local prosecutor and that that person should reflect the values of your community the way your mayor or your governor does, that those elections are just as important. And in fact, they have become a real um, galvanizing force for the criminal justice reform movement all over the country. Through our voting, it does matter who we vote for as far as prosecutors go. And ideally, we need to look at prosecutors that are perhaps more, more reform-minded. And that is what uh, the message of her presentation really revolved around. I'm going to end with this slide that's really about the power of cities, about of the power of um, people to change the, the way that criminal justice functions in this country through elections. It turns out that if you t look at the biggest metropolitan areas in the country, if the district attorneys in the 125 biggest areas were people who were committed to reducing incarceration, and if they really followed through on those promises, you could change the criminal justice system for half the country's population. So I think that really goes to show the power of these local elections. They can take place in small communities as well as large ones. And what you're seeing here is a new way, I think, of thinking about criminal justice reform, of putting these decisions that can feel so far removed from us. They're happening in Washington or they're happening miles away in the state capitol. The most important decisions about criminal justice are actually happening right here at home, in our local court system, with our local judges, and most of all, with our local district attorney. So in com commemoration of Black History Month in February, we are hosting a gentleman by the name of Jim Lucas, who does a one-man presentation, uh, looks just like Martin Luther King Jr., and he um, is going to do an hour-long presentation with a question and answer afterwards. So we're really excited about his visit. This event is open to the public, and if you're interested in getting more information, you can contact myself or David Baskin. We are the co-chairs of the President's Speaker Series. The Delta College Possible Dream Program helps middle and high school students who are considered at risk stay in school and work toward the goal of attending college. The program is dedicated to the idea that every student deserves a chance at success. To learn more about this worthy endeavor, we talked to Becky Barber, Special Events Coordinator. This is the 29th year of fundraising for the Possible Dream Program. Our event, A Chocolate Affair, raises money for the Possible Dream Program at Delta College. The Possible Dream Program assists at-risk students to stay in school and prepare for college. The Possible Dream Program is to keep students involved in cultural awareness, academic achievement, activities to participate to keep them involved in school to go on to college. We have events like the testing they come out and take here to work on their resume building, their summer camps that we take at the college. They can go to activities in the community like ball games, arts, and things they've never done in their life. 
to keep them involved so that they come out to Delta or they go somewhere to college in the future. What about water? As a participant in the Possible Dream program, I found that it was a really great program. It allowed me to do a lot of things I couldn't have done otherwise. I got to go see shows that I wouldn't have even known existed had I not been in the program. I got to learn a lot of things in a really fun way. That's a big thing about it is it combines learning with fun, which I think promotes the idea of learning, making it more appealing than the way school does where you're just sitting and learning. You're experiencing it at the same time, which definitely was a big benefit of the program. Without the program, I don't think I would have gone to college because I think I would have lost the motivation to do so. But the people in the program and the things we did all really built up the excitement to go and continue learning for me, which was very helpful. Now I'm here and I'm super excited to be a part of the program, still working with it. I love being able to see what happened to me happen to other kids at the same time, and I'm super excited to start doing this stuff. I'd like to thank Delta College for having this type of program. The Delta College at Chocolate Affair will be held Thursday, November 7th at Valley Plaza at the Great Hall in Midland. You'll enjoy fabulous food, great wine, live music by Jedi Mind Trip, and delicious desserts. At 8 p.m., our desserts are cut and served for everyone to enjoy. The Chocolate Affair has two ticket prices, $125, which gets you an hour early at 6 p.m., and a general admission ticket, which gets you in at 7 o'clock. We'd like to thank our lead sponsors, Chemical Bank, Morrow and Cynthia Gregorio, and Spence Brothers for their support of A Chocolate Affair. Hope to see you on November 7th. Delta College, in its ever-expanding role to meet community outreach needs, offers its campus facilities for high school cross-country meets. Throughout the fall, regional and district high school meets gather on the campus of Delta College because of its unique combination of wooded and open trails. To talk more about the great course Delta has to offer, we talked to Heritage High School coach Gary Lubert. First of all, uh the Delta course has a lot of history and we've, we've been coming here. I ran here as a student when I was in high school and I've been coming here uh, 22 years now. I've been a coach and we just had Saturday the Alcaner Delta Invitational that is a time honored cross country meet that is enjoyed by a lot of schools. I think there were 50 some schools here Garber hosted. Delta has so much to offer as a cross country course for the runners with the mix of woods and open areas in the, in the field out front here. Some really nice trails along the uh, the creek in the back and it's just a beautiful place to run and and kids typically respond very well to running here uh, as the season progresses. I'd like to thank Delta for letting us use this, this great cross-country course. Delta's always been tremendous to work with uh, from the offices all the way through Browns and doing a good job of, of just making this place so beautiful for us to come and run and, and safe for the kids to run by keeping it clean and, and uh, accessible for us to have our competition. So I'm very grateful to Delta for having us and we hope we can continue this relationship for a, a very long time.
Days. Months. Hey, I'm Jim from across the street. Years. I'd like to give you this. A lifetime. We can rush by without realizing what we're missing. We lose some of the best moments. Some that may never repeat. Come on. Or detach from people around us. Our loved ones grow used to this pattern. But it doesn't have to be that way. We have a choice to take action. It's never too late to live a full life again. Hear how many of us Vietnam veterans have managed our mental health and reconnected with our families. Visit maketheconnection.net to find out more. We're pleased to continue the popular Dateline Delta segment, Sky Treasures. Let's watch as Mike Murray, manager of the Delta College Planetarium and Learning Center, shows us some interesting features of the night sky. Hi everyone, and welcome to the November edition of Sky Treasures. As we move deeper into autumn, the sky reflects this change with new constellations rising in the east. About 90 minutes after sunset, look high in the east for four moderately bright stars that seem to form a giant diamond. This is the great square of Pegasus, the main body of the winged horse in Greek mythology. As it climbs higher into the south, it's easier to see as a great square, and this simple shape makes for an excellent pointer to deep sky wonders. For example, if you imagine taking a line from the lower right star of the square to the upper left, and keep going about two-thirds that distance, you'll find a faint patch of light under a dark sky. This is the most distant object visible to the naked eye, the Andromeda Galaxy, at nearly two and a half million light years away. Binoculars will reveal its oval shape with a brighter bulge in the middle. You're looking at the collective light of hundreds of billions of stars, all bound in orbit around the central nucleus of older stars. Now go back to the great square of Pegasus and imagine drawing a line from the lower left star through the upper left star toward the northeast and you'll find a bright group of stars that seem to zigzag back and forth. This is commonly known as the W of Cassiopeia the Queen. If you scan slowly through the W with binoculars, you're likely to see small faint smudges of light, some of which will resolve into countless stars. These are called open star clusters. Now use those binoculars and follow the left end of the W down toward the bright stars of Perseus. Two tiny bunches of stars should be visible against the rich stellar background of the Milky Way. This is the famous double cluster in Perseus, located over 7,000 light years away. Through a telescope, the spectacular beauty of the clusters becomes obvious. Each is a collection of hundreds of young stars, shining blue-white with incredibly high energies. Join us in the Delta College Planetarium on the first Friday of each month at 7 o'clock for live specials like Gateway to the Stars, and we'll show you how to enjoy more of the autumn nighttime skies. With the Delta College Planetarium in Bay City, I'm Mike Murray. Fabulous food, delicious wine, scrumptious desserts, and live music by Jedi Mind Trip. Sound tempting? If so, please join me, Mike Kelly, a Delta College Foundation board member, at our possible dream fundraiser, A Chocolate Affair, on Thursday, November 7th at Midland's Great Hall at Valley Plaza. As a supporter of youth in our region, I'm committed to helping students realize their dreams of higher education and better careers. The Possible Dream program is fully funded by the generosity of our sponsors and attendees like you. I invite you to join me and our lead sponsors, Chemical Bank, Dow, Moro and Cynthia Gregorio, PNC Bank and Spence Brothers at a chocolate affair. To purchase tickets, visit delta.edu slash chocolate affair or call 989-686-9224. See you at the Great Hall at Valley Plaza on November 7th for a chocolate affair. If you like computers, architecture, or engineering, and have an acute attention to detail, this may be the career path for you. As a student in the CAD or computer-aided drafting program, 
you'll learn using state-of-the-art technology. For more about this amazing program, we talked to Steve Gormley, coordinator, CAD program. The CAD program is computer-assisted drafting. Uh, we teach students how to model uh, on the computer three-dimensional drawings or two-dimensional drawings using programs like AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS. Our CAD program is a standalone certificate program, but also it's a feeder program for other programs here at Delta, including engineering or CNC machining, architecture, or welding. We have about 60 students per semester in our program. The CAD program is a certificate, and we have other associate degree programs too as well. That's the part of the feeder system. We offer a CAD certificate program, which is essentially a one-year program to get certified in CAD. From there, you can go on to other programs, either associates or four-year programs, a bachelor's degree. You can get a job in CAD, using CAD as a draftsman, immediately after one class of getting educated in a CAD program. You would en enter in as a draftsman level program, and from there, CAD is it grows. CAD is a tool that you can use to accomplish many different things in many different disciplines. So as you grow in your career, you move up and go into more complex topics, more complex fields. A student graduating with a certificate in CAD can go out and get a job either in the manufacturing or architecture or construction fields. In manufacturing, they would be drafting part drawings and submitting them to the manufacturing job floor to be manufactured for production. In architecture, you'd be drafting buildings or civil engineering, you'd be drafting roads or bridges. An expanding part of our program is the online portion. So students are able to come and attend classes face-to-face -face, and they're also able to attend classes online. So they could work from home. I can conference with them through the internet and I can pull up their screens and work with them. So whether there's snow days or you're having car problems or you are live far away, I can still teach you just as well and get you certified either in SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD. And the qualities of a, a student in CAD would be detail-oriented. They would have a mechanical aptitude. So whether that be in mechanics or electrical or architecture, CAD is a tool to focus on those topics. They would be sitting in front of a computer station for long periods of time, so they should have the stamina to be able to sit and work. There are a lot of CAD jobs out there in the market today. If you're interested in obtaining a CAD position, feel free to contact me with the information on the screen. I would like to thank Steve for the job he's doing to successfully educate our students and prepare them for exciting careers. Now let's see what's on the Dateline Delta calendar of events. The Delta College Planetarium is hosting a series of shows during the month of November. For more information about these shows and events happening at the Planetarium, visit their website at delta.edu slash planet. Delta College is hosting a blood drive on Tuesday, November 12th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The drive takes place in the West Main Hallway. Delta College's annual Career Pathways event brings together high school students and career professionals for an opportunity to ask questions and get advice on their career decisions. Career Pathways 2019 is on Friday, November 8th from 8 a.m. until noon in the Pioneer Gym. There is a free PC repair clinic on Friday, November 8th and 15th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. in room K110 on Delta's main campus. Preference will be given to the computers that arrive before noon. A resume and cover letter workshop takes place on Tuesday, November 12th from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. on our downtown Saginaw campus. The class is in room 210. For further information on these events or other campus activities, contact the Office of Marketing and Public Information at 989-686-9490 or visit our website at www.delta.edu. Well, that wraps up this episode of Dateline Delta. Please join us again on November 17th. 
when we highlight what's happening here at Delta College, one of America's leading community colleges. Now I leave you with the sights and sounds of Delta College. For Dateline Delta, I'm Mary Lou Benicke. Thanks for watching. Local productions on QTV are made possible with support from viewers like you. Thank you. This Month in Passport, your on-demand library of the best of PBS. Country music is truth-telling. You can dance to it, you can cry to it. It has something for everybody. If your own country betrays you, to whom do you then owe loyalty? The images really blew our minds. What we found was staggering. These and other shows are available with Passport. Become a member of this PBS station, sign in, and start streaming today.